Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, g equals b minus c a, and we're solving that for a, okay? So my first step is, I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to rewrite it, I always do that, rewrite our equation, g equals b minus c a, and I know I'm solving for a. I want to subtract the b to both sides. That leaves me with g minus b on the left equals a negative c a on the right. Then I need to divide by a negative c. Divide by a negative c to both sides. And that leaves me, which is a positive a on the right, and I have g minus b over a negative c on the left. Okay? Now I'm going to show you a little trick here. Okay? A little trick. A little note here. What is g minus b? Well, I see that negative, and I think I can distribute that negative up top. So if I take the g minus b, what would happen if I, if I pulled out a negative? So I put a negative 1 on the outside of that. If I pull out a negative, well, g becomes a negative g, and then this becomes a plus b, right? And we can think about it. If I distributed the negative back in, negative 1 times negative g is a positive g, and negative 1 times b is a plus a negative b, which is the same thing as minus b. So I haven't changed the equation, or the, this little part here, I just made it look different. Well, then I can rearrange this and have negative 1 times b plus a negative g, right? I can do that. Then I can even write that to be negative 1 times b minus g. It'd be to do the same thing, okay? So now I have negative 1 times b minus g. It's the same thing as just g minus b up top. And this is a common technique to eliminate a negative in the denominator. And so what that does is I can rewrite this to be negative 1 times b minus g all over negative c, and that's equal to a. The negatives will cancel, make them positive, and I can rewrite this to have a come first, and so we have a equals b minus g over positive c. And I like to do that because I don't necessarily want to have negatives in the denominator, and that would be my final answer. Okay? Um, so that little, that little technique helps, and I like doing little side notes in case you can't do that in your head. Kind of that little part knowing that, hey, I'm doing that over there, and I'm putting it back in here. Okay? So let's recap. We're given g equals b minus c a, and we're solving for a. I rewrote my equation, I then subtracted a b to both sides, leaving me with a g minus b on the left equals a negative c a on the right. I then divided by a negative c to both sides, leaving me with g minus b over negative c on the left, and that's equal to positive a on the right. I could uh, from there, I want to eliminate the negative, and sometimes you can do that all in one step here, but uh, to see really what's going on here, g minus b, I can pull out a negative 1, giving me a negative g plus b. I then use the community property, rearrange to be a b plus a negative g on the inside, and still get the negative 1 on the outside of the parentheses. Then, adding a negative, same thing as subtracting, so I have negative 1 times a b minus g on the inside, and what that does is help me eliminate the negative 1 on the outside with the negative down uh, 1 really by the c, right, negative 1 times c the denominator, made it both positive, and so now I'm left with my final answer here of just, well, a equals, right in that first, b minus g all over positive 